Annapurna is a mountain situated in the Annapurna mountain range of Gandaki province, north-central Nepal. It is the 10th highest mountain in the world at 8,091 meters above sea level. Maurice Herzog led a French expedition to its summit through the North Face in 1950, making it the first 8,000-meter peak ever successfully climbed. The entire massif and surrounding area are protected within the 7,629 square kilometer Annapurna Conservation Area, the first and largest conservation area in Nepal. The Annapurna Conservation Area is home to several world-class treks, including Annapurna Sanctuary and Annapurna Circuit. Historically, the Annapurna peaks have been among the world's most treacherous mountains to climb with the particular case of the extremely steep south face of Annapurna Amain, a wall of rock that rises 3. 000 meters, making it one of the most difficult climbs in the world. By March 2012, there had been 191 summit ascents of Annapurna Amain, and 61 climbing fatalities on the mountain. This fatality to summit ratio is the highest of any of the 8,000ers. The mountain is named after Annapurna, the Hindu goddess of food and nourishment, who is said to reside there. The name Annapurna is derived from the Sanskrit language words Purna and Anna, and can be translated as everlasting food. Many streams descending from the slopes of the Annapurna Massif provide water for the agricultural fields and pastures located at lower elevations. The Annapurna Massif, view from aircraft the south face of Annapurna I. Annapurna I was the first 8,000-meter peak to be climbed. Maurice Herzog and Louis Lacanel, of the French Annapurna expedition led by Herzog, reached the summit on June 3, 1950. ICAC made a documentary of the expedition, called Victoire sur l'Annapurna. Its summit was the highest summit attained for three years, until the first successful ascent of Mount Everest, had already been attained on Everest in the 1920s. The south face of Annapurna was first climbed in 1970 by Don Willens and Dougal Haston also without using supplementary oxygen, members of a British expedition led by Chris Bonington that included the alpinist Ian Clough, who was killed by a falling serac during the descent. They were, however, beaten to the second ascent of Annapurna by a matter of days by a British Army expedition led by Colonel Henry Day. In 1978, the American Women's Himalayan Expedition, a team led by Arlene Bloom, became the first United States team to climb Annapurna I. The first summit team. Composed of Vera Komarkova and Irene Miller, and Sherpas Mingma Sering and Chuan Ringjing, reached the top at 3.30 p.m. on October 15, 1978. The second summit team, Alison Chadwick on and Vera Watson, died during this climb. In 1981 Polish expedition Zakopane Alpine Club set a new route on Annapurna I Central. Maciej Berbeka and Boguslav Probolski reached the summit on May 23, 1981. The route called Zakopiancikau Way was recognized as the best achievement of the Himalayan season in 1981. On February 3, 1987, Polish climbers Jerzy Kukuczka and Artur Hedger made the first winter ascent of Annapurna I. The first solo ascent of. The south face was made in October 2007 by Slovenian climber Tomas Humar. He climbed to the Rock Noir and then to Annapurna East. On 8 and October 9, 2013 Swiss climber Uli Steck soloed the Lafay route on the main and highest part of the face, this was his third attempt on the route and has been called one of the most impressive Himalayan climbs in history. With Steck taking 28 hours to make the trip from base camp to summit and back again. Annapurna I has the greatest fatality rate of all the 14 8000 ers as of March 2012, there have been 52 deaths during ascents, 191 successful ascents, and 9 deaths upon descent. The ratio of 34 deaths per 100 safe returns on Annapurna I is followed by 29 for K2 and 21 for Nanga Parbat. Climbers killed on the peak include Britain's Ian Clough in 1970 and Alex McIntyre in 1982, Frenchman Pierre Bagan in 1992, Kazakh-Russian Anatoly Bukreyev in 1997, Spaniard Inyaki Ochoa in 2008, and Korean Park Young-sok in 2011. Thanks for watching.